Our assignment manager, Mark Liu, is at the desk where he's been monitoring the situation. Mark, a lot going on out there. Yeah, Amy, there is still a significant multi-agency police presence at the center of the UCLA campus. They're there at the request of Mayor Bass and the Chancellor of the University. They include members of the LAPD, the CHP, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, and UCLA's own police force. They arrived late last night. They are still there this morning. Now, Sky Cal is overhead UCLA right now. Let's take a look at the police presence there right now. This is Royce Quad at the center of campus at UCLA and the LAPD and CHP officers and sheriffs on station here have been here all morning, but they are in a much different stance than they were last night. About six to eight hours ago, you saw that video that Tina Patel had. Those officers were in riot gear with ballistic helmets, batons and zip ties at the ready as they separated and dispersed protesters who were scuffling with each other and officers. Right now, police are in a much more relaxed state. It's unclear what, if any, the next police action will be here. That encampment has been declared unlawful by the university. It's peaceful now, but officers are remaining vigilant against any further violence. There are two main buildings being affected here on either side of that quad. Royce Hall closed until Friday. The other building, Powell Library, closed until Monday. And all classes at any academic building at UCLA have been canceled by university officials. Now, I want to show you a statement from the UCLA vice chancellor about last night's violence. It says horrific acts of violence at the encampment tonight. We're immediate, we immediately call law enforcement for mutual aid support. The fire department and medical personnel are on the scene. We are sickened by the senseless violence and it must end. That's from Mario Sacco, the vice chancellor for strategic communications. Now coming back out here live to the desk. Since that encampment has been declared unlawful, the university says any students participating could face disciplinary action by the university and people unaffiliated with the university that are there participating could face misdemeanor charges. That is the very latest here from the desk. Amy, I'll send it back to you. All right, Mark, thank you.